Hey yo guys, the name's Wolf and hi again, welcome to the Wolves Inn. Today I'm going to show you how to cheat on Null DC. So what you're going to want to do first is that you're going to have to try to Google and search for the Chencast Cheater uh, beta version. And once you've done that, you can extract it to your Null DC folder. I'm pretty sure you can have it anywhere that you like, but I got it there. But when you do set it up, you should hopefully get a screen that looks like this. So Chen cast cheetah beta version now you can't use the new version because the new version i think actually looks for chen cast the actual version or it won't actually pick it up there and it's got like a red bar at the top if you get the new version so that's just one thing i want to point out the other thing is is that if you start it up you might get an issue where it says ms control dot ocx is missing now if you get that issue you're going to need to google for that's this specific file you can find it on the net and what you will want to do here is that you want to just let me bring it up you're going to need to extract it into c uh, windows sys 64 if you're on 64 bit version or c windows system 32 if you're on the 32 bit version now to do that or to show you, I'll show you guys how I did it. So I've got the 64-bit version. Uh, I would just copy this here and then I would go into the directory, just copy and paste that there and I would dump it into here, which is uh, mscomcontrol.ocx. Uh, now once you paste it in here, you still also need to register the file. Now to do that, you will need to go into your Windows PowerShell as administrator or Command Prompt as administrator. You can either type in, I think I think you can type in CMD here. It's Command Prompt, run as administrator. Or you can right click on the Windows symbol and say Windows PowerShell admin. We will do that. We'll use this one, this is fine. So to register it, you're going to go to change directory, CD, and you want to go to this file location if you're on the 64-bit and C Windows 32, uh, System 32 if you're on the 32-bit and then once you're on the PowerShell again, you press the enter and that will change you to this the SysWow64 folder now you need to run this code give me a second it did not copy it okay and type, or you can type in regserv 32 mscomcontrol.ocx when you press enter here it will go to the next line you'll get a pop-up box which looks like this one dl reg server in mscomctl.ocx succeeded so now you should not have an issue when you go back to the to the cheat program which you want chencast cheater plus dot exe and uh, yeah this is where you'll you'll get this but you don't want to start this up just as of yet I can get rid of this what you're going to do here is that you're going to start up well you're not going to actually start up just as of yet we're going to go to my null DC now in the null DC you will not have this chencast dot exe it's actually this file here now you can either rename it or you can create a copy of it i'll create a copy of it just to show you right click copy and paste and this is going to give me the null dc win32 and it will say copy on at the end so you can rename this to chancast so it says chancast.dsc and because i've got it here yeah i'll say you can create the second one but i don't need that we want it to be just chancast.exe for this to work and uh, what you will do is open up the program it comes up here and we are going to try this with Canon Spike I actually tried this just with Zombie Revenge just because I wanted to add some cheese in as well so Canon Spike is right here let's load this up let's wait for this to load up before we start up the the cheat program I find that it will detect the the game code once it starts up. If you start up doing that, it will come up with like some 
funky thing during the startup. Okay, so now that that's loaded, we go to the GenCareSCheetah, GenCareSCheetahPlus.exe, we start this up. This comes up over here, it's currently scanning for codes, it's picked up the title, but it has not picked up the codes. Now, the other thing is, I actually went on the net, and I found the codes for code breaker, and I put this in the, in here, already. So, you have the semicolon, I think it is, and I just stole the title out of here, and I put it in here. You don't need to steal the title, because I just checked this out with Zombie Revenge, and it also works even if you just have that as, without, like, its code there. But, if this thing does not pick up your codes, that is in the directory, then all you gotta do is just select it, and your codes will be there, that's currently in the INI file. I don't know why it works like that, it just does. So, unlimited special, unlimited credits, and you hit tr uh, the trainer is off, so it shows trainer is on. Once we are in here, we can press that start button. I've got my joy to key connected, so this thing is already picked up by controller. Okay, so let's go to Kami and let's do some things. Now, to do to test this out, all you need to do is hit the L button, which is the special button. You can see I have four grenades or specials. You usually get two or three, and uh, yeah, that's now showing. Is it doesn't go down. The other thing is, let's check out if the Critus is working. The cause it's usually about 3 down here, which is currently now 9. So let's just get whoops, and let's continue, and we will see that the credits is still on 9, off they go down. I actually just got this working last night, and I just woke up and I thought I'm going to do this video since my parents are going Okay, so, yep, credits are still in 9, so all the cheats work. That's all I wanted to show you guys at the moment, and what we will do here is let me close this one off, and I just wanted to show you one more thing, is that I'm going to close off cheat. Now, I got these codes off the net, generally it uh, looks something like this on the cheat file. Now. I'm going to take this, I'm going to take this name, I'm just going to press another enter button, I'm going to put the semicolon in, I'm going to put the name in, control and Z it, and to put the cheats in here, you can, as I said, grab these off the net, you want the codes on each line, they don't have the semicolon, so freeplay.mode, that's right, freeplay mode, space, the code, usually I have it in its eight pieces, all on one line. The next line, like red blood code, and yeah, just make sure everything is on single line. Make sure you got the space or they show up all on one funky line. Uh, these these breaks actually break the codes up. And just make sure you have an enter here, because I think that's what the system needs it to recognize it's changed the next uh, kind of a game. Okay, so once that's been saved, we do not need my cheats anymore. I do want to save this just for the hell of it. And we will start up the emulation once again. And we will see if it works. Now, Zombie Revenge does actually crash out once you hit the door. I've checked online to find out what this issue is. And you go to the options, you go to the PAL VR, you go to the... Modifier volumes and you put you turn this off and this will work for just say grind radio and zombie revenge From what I know if it just suddenly crashes which is completely ass Because I always wanted to play zombie revenge with my friend and just never been able to beat that place. It's very bizarre Okay, so this game is currently starting up Don't start up the cheat emulator just right here I'm pretty sure you can, but you just gotta select the game file. This one takes a bit of time, but we'll see. Let's see if we can go into this. Okay. 
it has actually picked up the game. It did not pick up the codes for whatever reason. So I'm going to go to my zombie arena. I'm going to click on this and it just refreshes it. We can put free play mode, we can put on the, the red blood, and we can put on unlimited health, and we turn the trainer on, and that should activate it. I don't usually do these tutorial things, so I just usually just play the games. Okay, but let, let us see. Let's see that it actually works. I want to beat this game tonight as well. This is very, it's a good fun game. And both of these two games, Ken Spike and Zombie Revenge, do not show up on any other console. Maybe on arcade. Mikiki Ushijima. I always play as this guy. Because he's cool. Are we still? Okay, let's skip this. I'm gonna get myself a bit ass blasted by these zombies. So you can see it works. Just to test out that the the blood uh, the unlimited health works. We don't actually need free play mode. Come on, guys. Oh, come on, hit me. Okay. Hey, come on. Okay. Yeah, there you go. You can see my my health bar is actually going up. So the cheese still work for zombie revenge, which is awesome. I'm poisoned as well, and the poison is not taken effect. All right. That's all I want to show you, how to get the cheat application working, how to add in your cheats, and let's rock some games tonight. I'll see you later guys, and I hope this helps you out. There's also plenty of these videos showing you how to get the cheats working. I'm not just the only one that's got it out there. I got the file from a 2007 video, so it's been out for quite some time, but hey, I thought I'd make a video too. Alright, I'm out. Adios.